Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Bunny, welcoming you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. The bug hunt is on! Because I don't want to have to try to fly around and worry about being ambushed by Chrysalis, so I'm gonna take the fight to her instead. So for this, I am equipped it with Full on offense, as you see here. Even Rainbow Dash, I've got the Thunderbolt, and well, in her case, I also have Wind Whistler. I'm not worried about her learning magic or anything, because we don't get any magic points for this for some reason. As a precaution, I also have Celestia equipped with Morning Glory, and well, just for the heck of it, Masquerade, but I don't think I'll end up using that. The battles don't usually last long enough for it to really warrant that. Otherwise, as you may recall, I used uh, those diamond rings to teach... Where is it? Oh, where it's, it's up here now. Celestia, the holy spell, and I also have that with Cadence's Wet... Cadence's Well, thanks to her uh, crystal heart there. And of course, Luna has her ultimate magic, which actually I think is called like elliptical pommel or something like that. So I don't know what Sakura was talking about, but anyway, with you know with Eclipse Rush. Anyway, Chrysalis does have a fair bit of physical defense, which is why I have Dash specifically with Wind Whistler instead of as opposed to someone else, because she's gonna be doing the least amount of damage pretty much no matter what I do right now, unless I just wait till much later. So, difficult thing with Chrysalis isn't really so much fighting her as it is finding her, because as I said before, she is on the world map only while you're in the airship, and she is stationary on one tile out of, I think, like 256 that make up the map. So, yeah, the big thing is, how do you find her? Well, basically, you kind of want to try to fly at just a slight angle so you can try to hit basically every single spot on the map. And just slightly adjust it every once in a while here and there. So, in regards to fighting Chrysalis, she is weak to Holy, and that's the only thing she's weak to, and she... Uh, is immune to ice and poison, so those won't help you at all. And the other thing to note is, you might have might have noticed back there I'm at level 31. There was a big reason I wanted to be at that before I got out of the Wonderbolts Memorial, because Chrysalis will start every battle using level 5 death. So, if you're at level 30, or 25, or 35, or what have you, multiple of 5, then either level up or just wait. Yeah, this is the hard part. It's just trying to find her. It could take a long, long time sometimes. No matter what you do. So, one thing you might want to do is just kind of change course there to try to get a few other angles. Hopefully she's not in, like, one of the tip corners of the map or something, because you don't... I find that you don't really tend to hit those very often when you're doing this little technique. So, yeah, that's, this could still take a while, which I will be speeding up once I actually, after I actually get into the freaking fight, or, you know, because the other thing is, is that we're only going to be fighting her for a limited amount of time. She will randomly run away after a while. Okay, let's kind of change our angle a little bit there. So, yeah, I'll basically get back to you once I find her. Dang it, usually I can find her a little quicker than this, but not today, apparently! I think this is the longest it has ever taken me to try to find her. I can't believe how long this is taking. Dang! When I did this in version 1.0, altogether I defeated her in about 20 minutes. Even flying around and, well, you know, fighting her multiple times and everything. But yeah, I've already been around this whole freaking map! And I apparently didn't quite hit the tile there, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright. There we go! Sheesh! Alright, Dash, first things first. Use Wind Whistler, please. 
And every pony else, full out offense. And let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. And let's see that. And then Dash, just dive. Do what you have to do. That'll protect us somewhat from her drain ability. That's most of what she'll do. But she does have some wind elemental protection. Or, not protection. Uh, attacks, which is why I have the wind... Uh, based... Yeah, the wind... Uh, what, the saddles there on Cadence and Dash. And also why I have the Regal Vigalius on Luna and Celestia, since that gives at least half protection from that. Ugh. The elliptical pummel. I don't know what Sakura was talking about with the Eclipse Rush, but okay. Yeah, that's about all the damage I'm gonna do with Luna right now, unfortunately. So yeah, there's that. Uh oh. For a second I actually forgot what it was. It's like, wait. <laughs> yeah, eventually she'll run away. So I'm not too worried about what she's going to do otherwise. Although she can do a status effect that there's absolutely nothing you can do about called Charm, which will hit one character, and it basically is guaranteed confusion, as it were. Oh yeah, there it goes. You can miss! Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. That would have sucked if she had hit me with a if I had hit myself with an elliptical pummel there. But there it is. Oh, yeah, Dash is actually doing better damage than I was expecting. I'm surprised she hasn't tried to run away yet. But yeah, rather than doing any kind of defensive thing beyond whist Wind Whistler, I find that this is just the most effective way to go about it. Because she does have a fair bit of physical and magical defense. And Cadence, you are going to die at this rate. So she's not stealing much. She does have a move called Mega Drain, which will drain from the whole party, but... Which actually might kill Cadence if she doesn't run away first. But we shall s Oh, the second there I thought I did something else. <laughs> yeah, we shall see. How come you're only taking from the princesses? Why not Luna? Oh, there we go. Well, Luna's a princess too, but how come not the off with the other standouting princess? Ow. Wow, I can't believe you haven't run away yet. She usually runs away fairly quickly, but it's purely random when and if she does, so... Ow. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen at that rate. I... Why are you not running away? I kind of would like to heal now at this rate. I should have Luna do that, since Celestia's doing more damage. If we even get to that. Are we just gonna kill her at this rate, or what? Wow. I don't think I've... ever seen her do it twice in one battle before. Okay, then. What are you doing, Luna? Would you run away already, or something? Oh, you can guess me. Oh, that's Luna doing that. Okay, uh, I don't mind that. That, oh. Well then. Uh. Oh, I should, like, slots or something, get my HP back. That might work. You do run away. I know you run away this time, don't you? Oh, yeah, there's that little change. Ow! To the face, Luna! Jeez. There's my Wind Elemental Magic. I have Morning Glory just in case, but... Yeah, let's get a little bit of healing in there too, shall we? Actually, that'll probably cure her silence. That's actually kind of sucks. This is so weird for the battle to last this long. Moonbolt, really? Well, thanks for trying to kill yourself. Uh, let's just do regular Kira then. This battle just keeps on going. Ooh, bye, Cadence. So much for healing. Hmm. Too bad I don't have the second cure spell yet, but... Oh, there we... Wait. That actually works in battle? Huh. 
Okay, thanks, Luna! I didn't know that... Oh, I think I just glitched it out or something. What was that? That was weird. <laughs> okay, that was... I didn't even realize I could use that as an escape spell in battle. Ha! Huh, I've never tried to use that. I always thought that only worked in dungeons. That works in battles? Does it say so? Oh. I never bothered to try that before. Well then! How about that? Shall we... Fight her again? Because her HP has not been restored. I... That was... Really, really shocking the way that worked out. But anyway, I'll meet you when I meet her again. Well, I hope using the teleport spell back there didn't, like, glitch her out and make her pretty much impossible to find or something, because I've been flying around here for much, much longer than I usually do. Like, over seven minutes now. There we go! Jeez! Well, okay, there we- nice. Anyway, shall we try this again? Hopefully with less insanity. Or whatever happened the last time. Because I'm pretty sure she can still run away. I've never seen her last that long before, so... Huh. Dive, Rainbow Dash! Dive! Although it's basically still the same fight, though if someone gets charmed again, I might want to just use the death spell on them and get it over with. She can't have that much more HP, though. I forget exactly how much she has, but... Oh, there we go, drink... Oh, not Mega Drain, drink Gah. My bad, my bad. Yeah, how about we, uh... Heal up a little bit there, Luna. That might be nice. Just don't kill Cadence before you do that. Or we could kill Chrysalis first. She, I got through almost... I only did this in two fights? I got through almost the whole first battle? Sheesh! If I hadn't teleported, I would have just defeated her in just that fight alone. But anyway, there we go. Yay. <laughs> yeah, for defeating her, Chrysalis drops a piece of Magicite. Which is Spike! Not to be confused with G4 Spike. And now she's gone! Final, well, yeah, finally, I guess. And we get a pretty darn good Esper. Overall, Spike cuts through magic defense, so yeah, it does ignore his defense, costs 86 MP, but it basically acts as a multi-target flare spell, except much, much stronger. This is the second best Esper for Celestia to abuse with her ability there, as it will, will pretty much negate me from ever needing to even use Viraga and Ice Gun. All that other stuff that I went to the trouble of learning. At least in boss fights anyway, I'll definitely teach Flare to Cadence right away. It's not quite as useful as it was before, but it's there. Hmm. Well, I defeated her in far fewer fights than I was expecting there, so... Let's see, hang on a sec. Well, I guess it's a little too early then, so I might as well start going to the next area. <laughs> So, let's see, actually this would be a little faster going this way. I could go back to where I was intended to go. Or, well, more or less intended, but I want to go here first for, well, more than one reason, really. Now, if I had never recruited Luna, I could recruit Scootaloo right now, but I don't have that option, because unless I go to the, the final dungeon right now, I can't have fewer than... Or I can't change my party and have fewer than four at the moment. So, anywho, I have my party equipped as you see here. Uh, Luna with the Flame Claws. One last time. It's pretty much the last time I'm ever going to need it. Huh? Angel Bunny? What are you doing here? Th that rabbit! That wascally rabbit! And we're not going to meet the... Good. Yeah, Dark Mantis, which is the... Oh, well, anyway. Yeah, this is 
almost the only enemy that we're going to meet around here. Uh, actually, no. You know what? This guy's weak to fire, which is why I'm equipped the way I am. Ow. Hit him back, Luna. Thank you. Yeah, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but there it is. Luna can do plenty of damage just with her fire dance and also her other move there. Wow, that was actually more than I was expecting. Oh, second there I was like, he's still alive? But yeah, ne oh, never mind. I guess I won't be using my elliptical pommel there. And those guys typically are worth buyer rods, but you also can rarely get uh, earth rods from them, so I could get something for Celestia that way to learn, although I don't really need to. Let me see, what was I just, oh, well, anyway. Yeah, I don't know what this is about, this is just there for some reason. There's one other enemy in here that was semi-rare, but if we happen to meet it, well, we'll find out. What a few treasure chests in here, including the title dagger, one of, well, I don't want me to buy a, uh, at least one now. I, need, I still need one more so that I can have a total of two. Actually, there, I mean, there is one in another treasure chest in the game, but I'm not going to get there before I actually need it, so. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, I'm not using dragon, or the experience egg right now, so. Yeah, for particular reasons. Specifically related to Scootaloo. Oh yeah, that's the dinosaur forest, but we'll go over that later. Oh yeah, because remember, the reasons, well, actually I'll talk about that later. Ah, yeah, she is weird like that. Why? Huh. What are you doing over there, or do I want to know? Oh, yeah? Oh, well, it's nice to know that. So, anyway. It's a pretty short... Hmm, I forgot what I was saying, because I was paying attention to how little damage Elliptical Pummel was doing there. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of those dungeons where the enemies have low enough defense that uh, Luna equipping two Comet Rings is probably going to be stronger than her uh, Eclipse or Elliptical Pummel. Because depending on the defense of the monsters in the area you're in, that is an option. That will be stronger because the Comet Ring with that times three possibility is the single strongest thing you can unleash for Luna there, so... And then you got the aloe vera, who, well, he could be, yeah, he does have some, oh, you know what, actually, Asuna and Luna, you have the death spell, that's right, I forgot he could petrify, it's like one of the few instances where that's actually a thing, but I'm not really worried about it, because he's undead, so I can just kill him off with the death spell, and that's that. In the original game, he is an enemy that does not appear on... Holy clop, I need it. He is an enemy that does not appear on the belt. I'm not sure if he appears in this version. I thought he was added back in. What do you mean Dash learned to spell? What did she learn to spell from? Wait, what? What did she learn to spell from? I don't have her... Wait, does... Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Is, is that equipped? Does that have a spell attached to it now? Wait, what? Oh. I still have you equipped with... Oh. I did not mean to do that. Well, I'll undo that off screen by coming through since I've saved and all that. Yeah, I'll undo that. Well. <sighs> yeah, I'll come back here off screen and, uh, I'll retrace my steps. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're practically through this dungeon now as it is, so. 
And once we get just a little further... Yeah, not that it matters now, but... <laughs> it's at least put you back with the regular stuff I was gonna have you with. Need that to open uh, that passageway right there, and down here we get a carrot stick. Which, you might recall, some pony was looking for... Oh wait, so fair, my daggers. Yeah, some pony was looking for this. It's for Fluttershy only, and it's an instant death ability. Or instant death weapon. Wow, Dash can do about as can do more damage with Chocobop than Luna can do with her elliptical ability. Dang, that must be a magical skill then, after all. Oh yeah, there's some. Oh, we got Earth Rods too. Sweet, not that I'm gonna be able to keep those, <laughs> but there it is. Sheesh. Uh, Fluttershy, what are you doing here? Find out next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0 after I come back here again off screen without teaching Dash Magic because I still need her for the Coliseum. Arrivederci.